Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And how badly do you want to go to Walt Disney World? Well, not that bad for me because, you know, we go, we used to go all the time and... Yeah, this woman wants to go so badly that she's willing to sell her blood. Yeah. To sell her blood <laughs> to go to Disney World. She sells her blood so she can go to Disney World once a month because it's her New Year's resolution. Okay then, so we're we're gonna talk about this. This is kind of a funny little video, but you you want to talk about uh, talk about dedication. We've talked about people being hooked on Disney, mm -hmm. and that until uh, more people turn on Disney, absolutely nothing is gonna change. It doesn't matter how much they gouge you. It doesn't matter how how they treat their cast members. It doesn't matter any of that. Uh, it doesn't matter. People are willing to literally sell their blood to go to Disney World every month. There's nothing that's going to change. <laughs> nothing is going to well, change. you know, in Pennsylvania, we like to think outside the box. Yeah, right. All right. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, almost 260,000. So we're really like 20 away. Uh, we've been talking a lot more about Disney parks lately because of the uh, budget cut experiences that uh, people and have been getting. the price hikes. And the price hikes and the Galactic Star Cruiser being, you know, one of the most egregious egregious, outrageous, expensive things that Disney has done. But again, we've also said that Disney has no incentive to change. No. Uh, there's no incentive to change because the parks are packed. People are paying, you know, they might complain about it, but they're still paying to get into the park, paying to eat overpriced pretzels and drink overpriced Coke. What are you going to do? Right. And, and then I'll tell you, like, I'm on these boards and when people complain or they bring up valid complaints, like mostly people are complaining about the Genie Plus Lightning Lane and how unless you pay for it, you're sitting in line forever because they're like letting way more people than they ever let in before with the um, Fast Pass ahead of people because they're like, well, they're, they're paid for it and yep. they're doing it so that you'll pay for it. Like if they make you miserable, you'll pay for it. Um so people are, are resorting to whatever they have to to get their, their hit of Disney. Um, now, to be fair with this woman, she actually was already donating plasma before this, she said. Yeah. She just figured, hey, I'm getting paid to donate plasma. I might as well use it to go to Disney World. Why not? Why not? And look, we're not, we're not, well, I'd say we're not making fun of her. We're just pointing out that this is what people are willing to do. Uh, I mean, personally, on some level, I'm I, I'm I'm kind of impressed with the creativity. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I gotta tell you, like Pennsylvanians, we think outside the box. But she, um, yeah, she was doing it anyway, and I guess she does, does it twice a week. Oh my god! And she takes her seven hundred and fifty to twelve hundred and fifty dollars a month, and she uses it to go to Disney. And here's what she said. I, I was already donating plasma on and off, but I didn't realize how much money I was making from these donations. I realized that it benefits us in a way where we can enjoy to do something we love while also helping other people. So technically, it's a win-win. Technically. Um, but, you know, you have to understand, too, like, well, how are you paying for that? She probably has an annual pass. Yeah, yeah. And then just the flights down. The and flight and then the hotel. Yeah. And then the food and stuff. So it's totally doable. Um yeah. But uh, it's like a really, really weird way to go about it. But, you know. It, it is. Uh, people are literally willing to sell their blood to go to Disney. Um, that's how that's how, that's how it's gotten, guys. Uh, uh, we've we'll never. my blood for Mickey. We have never gotten that. We've never gotten that desperate to go to, to Disney. But, um, yeah, I mean, she got an article in The Insider. A 28-year-old woman is donating plasma twice a week to right. fund Disney World trips she has every a TikTok. month. TikTok. She has a TikTok. This is probably, I mean, I'm going to be honest. This is probably more about promoting her TikTok. Probably. Yeah, you know, there are people that sell crafts and people that sell parks merchandise. They'll use their annual passes to. Misuse their annual passes. Misuse their annual passes to buy stuff, to sell stuff on Amazon or eBay or whatever. And that actually funds their trip. Mm -hmm. So as long as people are addicted to the mouse, you know, and, and they find creative ways to, to finance it. There's nothing, nothing's going to change. No. I mean, it's just not. And, uh, you know, we can point and laugh, but, you know, until there's like five people walking around the parks, Disney has no incentive. Right. No incentive. And I, don't, I can't tell you how many people on these boards are like, I'm moving to Orlando or near Disney just so I can drive there and go to Disney every day or like once a week or whatever. And I'm like, you're literally moving to Orlando just to go to Disney World all the time. Yeah, so summer 2020, um, Gramlich. Gramlich was curious about Disney World reopening for the first time after COVID. 
Uh, she decided to look into flights between Pennsylvania and Florida, and at the time, the tickets were only $20. That's probably true. On Frontier. Yeah, I know, like, Spirit Airlines uh, here in Pittsburgh, they were they were dropping prices like crazy, too. But the problem is, is you'd, like, book a trip, and then they would be like, oh, hey, you yeah, have flights canceled. You know, well, yeah. she brings up a very, very valid point next, though. Yeah. Um, so we used to visit Hershey Park in Pennsylvania, which is about a two-hour drive. We wouldn't stay over. We'd drive back that night. So what's the difference? That actually is true. Um, you can take a flight to Orlando from the Pittsburgh area, and it's like an hour, hour and a half flight. I think it's, it's like two. It's like taking a bus. It is. You know? It's like the longest time you're waiting is just for your – you have to get there early and then walk into the airport. The flight itself isn't that long. Uh, a couple hours. And and it is. like when, Within like two hours or so, three hours with like extras, you can be at, at Disney. Um, we, did, we did it all the time. Yeah. And Hershey Park, to be fair – is is all it's getting up there with the prices of Disney. Um, I'm it, not gonna lie. It is getting very expensive. Hershey Park is very expensive. And I don't really care for Hershey Park that much. I've seen honest. people literally fly down that morning and catch a flight that night. We've actually considered doing that when we were back when we were doing media. Yeah. You can do that. Go in, do the day, catch a Uber back to the airport and come home that night. So I mean if she's only going down for a night or two and then come back, it really pretty wouldn't be that much. Yep. Uh, she has a Disney World annual yeah, pass. Yeah, that's holder. what I'm saying. It's the annual pass. Yep. So it's not an issue. It's like 1,200 bucks now or something for the annual pass. Uh, she knew that she would need to fund airfare, food, hotel stays, and other aspects of future trips. So I think, you know, this is about getting her TikTok off the ground, and she's going to be a Disney TikToker. Hey, it worked. If it works, I mean, again, you know, we we did this from from Pittsburgh, you know, Pittsburgh mm. area, and. It, you know, we, I mean, there's a lot of travel involved and a lot of times, you know, be going down to Florida and going out to California or whatever. But, um, you know, if we were just going to Florida for the parks and we had an airport close and the, the flights weren't that expensive, it, it wasn't that bad to do. No. And honestly, the other reason we, we didn't go out a lot last year, uh, was because of, you know, we didn't want to deal with the hassle with the COVID stuff. Yeah. So, uh, we can drive, but it takes too long. We hate that. Oh yeah. It's like 16 hours. It's, crazy. it's like 18. Oh, yeah, it's closer 18. to 18. Yeah. Um, you have to stop pee and stuff, you know? So no, you don't. <laughs> you do after me, no, but, you um, get one of those refillable mugs from the park. Okay, it works for you. You just stick the straw right up in your, no, it works it's like a catheter. Anyway, it's Mickey's um, magical catheter. No, but uh, you know we were gonna do that actually. We made no passes. We're like we're gonna go down once a month uh, for work, and then we we didn't because of, of the stuff that happened. So um, eventually, when it gets better, I might go down here and there uh, just because it's my job and cover some stuff. But I don't think you really care if you go ever again. I I don't give a shit. I know I, Spooking I've, doesn't either. I've gotten to the point where I've I have seen so much Disney and I've seen so much uh, behind the curtain at Disney that if I did I, I'm gonna be brutally honest, if I never went to Disney World again in my life, I think I would be okay. I think I would. And that sounds very like I, I couldn't imagine feeling that way ten years ago. I couldn't have imagined feeling that way like three or four years ago. Yeah, but there's so much going on right now that like I, I think I'd be fine. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay, well, it's not the same place it was when we used to go anyway, so who cares? But, you know, hey, if you really want to go and you, you you have to get creative, this is one creative way to do it. I mean, it's one of the more extreme ways I've heard. But like I said, she said she was doing it anyway. So it, was like, it wasn't like she just started doing it just because of this. She just thought, well, I'll just take the money I get from doing it and go to Disney every month to see if I can. I just hope there isn't a dude that gets some funny ideas about what he can donate. I'm sure you probably, probably have To go to Disney World. It's like, honey, I, I just made enough. Uh, it's made enough for us to go to Disney. You know, it's like I know I've been, I, we haven't had relations in like three years, but you know, I, I have enough now. Star yeah. Cruiser. You know? Yeah, and you can have a, an extended family reunion down there. You know, with all the kids. With, you know? with all the kids you've never met. Oh yeah. my God, that's funny. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.